Hello right bags, it's Jay Plays Games, welcome to the Access Show. Today, Days Gone has got a brand new release date, we'll also be taking a look at Hitman 2 and some Battle Royale news, brand new ones launching, totally accurate Battle Royale and Paladin's Battle Royale game has just come out on Steam, both of them, they're ready to play. We're also going to be taking a look at the might of the PlayStation exclusive. What is going on with Microsoft as we announce, or they're confirmed, that Crackdown 3 will be delayed again until next year. Also taking a look at Medieval and a new game from the people that made Just Cause called Generation Zero. So, come with me, Access Show, let's go. So Days Gone was delayed earlier on this year and we knew it was going to be coming out next year but we've got a proper date now, February the 22nd, a brand new gameplay reveal trailer ahead of E3, hopefully we'll get to see some actual hands on footage, it looks a bit more nuts than I thought it would, we knew there was going to be hundreds and hundreds of zombies, it may be even thousands chasing you around but these other elements where there's these crazy mad cannibalistic sort of characters looking very much like characters from Rust, it looks really good, I'm really interested in this. I wasn't as hyped up. I thought it was going to be just a little bit too, I don't know, maybe days gone by is just a bit too much of a Last of Us clone, but it looks like it's forging its own path. It's going to be open world by the looks of things massively, and it just looks really good. It looks really gritty. It looks really, uh, just uh, you get into the story and there'll be loads of fighting and loads of running away and all different types of zombies too not just random hordes but there's going to be ones like this look at that what is that about of course they will take center stage getting away from all these zombos but of course there will be some younger ones there as well the riding looks good the wildlife looks a bit nuts as well mad zombie wolves and getting attacked by loads of ravens or rock crows it is looking really epic. I can't wait for this. Hopefully we really will see some hands-on gameplay. I'm loving the trailer. Looks like it is showing a lot of gameplay mixed in with cutscenes as well. Put me on that hype train. I'm all aboard. It's Days Gone coming 22nd February next year. And on to a bit of a favourite of mine, Hitman. It's coming again. Hitman 2 will be released on November the 13th on all platforms, Xbox One, PS4 and PC. It's made by IO Interactive, of course, but they've got a brand new publisher, Warner Brother Games. They were in danger of going out of business. When Square Renix decided to give up the brand, there was a real problem with some licensing. But IO managed to buy back all the rights to the IP and they found themselves another publisher. So it does mean that Warner Brothers won't have as much say as Square Enix did in the making of the game or anything that's happened, this is going to be Io's baby. It's not going to be episodic. I didn't really like the episodic nature. I preferred getting just the whole bulk game to go through because I really like the stories of it. And waiting months and months and months for the next story just didn't gel with me. That is what's happening this time. There is no episodic nature. It's going to be released in one single game. You are going to unlock a brand new sniper mode. And this sniper mode has got something that some people might find a little bit weird. It's co-op. Yes, you can now play co-op sniper assassin with your friend, two players. What do you think about Hitman 2? Let me know in the comments. I certainly won't be buying or pre-ordering the game just to get access to this, which you'll have as soon as you've pre-ordered it. You can download this little version here, the pre sort of demo, tech demo, whatever it was. But I'm really interested in the main story of Hitman 2. I'm really hoping they can carry on doing what they were doing with Ab Absolution, which I liked. A lot of people dissed Absolution, but I thought it was an amazing game. I never really got, like I said, a chance to get through all the seasons, but the gameplay was solid. Everything was pretty solid. It's just a case I didn't want to have to wait for the next content to come out. So are you hyped for Hitman 2? Apparently there's going to be six new locations going all over the world as usual, and you're going to be uncovering Agent 47's past. They have revealed this trailer a little bit prematurely because it was leaked as usual. Lots of game leaks coming out near E3. It wasn't meant to be shown off until the actual Square Enix show next week. One game that won't suffer from leaks because it's out now in early access, Paladin's Realm Royale. It's foray into the Battle Royale genre. It's been working on this quite a while. They were going to have it as an addition to the Paladin's game, but have decided to make it a standalone. With Paladin's just been announced for the Nintendo Switch as well, and it is coming to that. It's a great time for the Paladin's brand. What do you think about this Battle Royale version? There's going to be five classes, I do believe. They're going to be able to use their abilities. You can see there from the trailer which ones there's going to be, and it's going to be based on 
get any shards that you can go and craft weapons and armor. The biggest battle royale tubers are already streaming it. You've got Ninja live streaming it already. I'm going to give it a go tomorrow. I quite like Paladins. I preferred it to Overwatch, so I'm really interested in seeing what this is like. It looks very basic. I've got to say, from seeing the way they aimed at each other, it looked fairly easy. Like, really big spread some of the weapons. Maybe they're trying to make it as commercially available and easy as possible to replicate the success of Fortnite. It's out free to play on Steam, no word on Xbox or PS4 just yet. Another one that's out on Steam is this Totally Accurate Battle Royale. If you've seen these games before, they're based on the Totally Accurate Battle Simulator where you get minions to go off against minions. It looks really dopey, it looks really stupid, and I can't wait to play it. I've downloaded it now. For the first, I do believe, thousand hours or thousand minutes, if you downloaded it, it was going to be free. After that, I think they're actually charging for it. It probably won't be that expensive. I can't imagine it's going to be more than a few quid, four or five quid. So, if you've not downloaded this now, go and try it on Steam. It looks derpy as hell. I can't wait to get into this. I love these games. I've played them a little bit, some of the totally accurate uh, Battle Royale ones. Not Battle Royale, but the Battle Simulator games. And just loads of little fun something really stupid definitely be interested in giving this a go probably live stream this hopefully tomorrow night let me know if you want to see this or you want to see realms royale maybe i'll do both now on to avalanche the makers of just cool series have made this brand new game generation zero it's an open sandbox game with three players available that you're going to be able to play up with three friends no more than that it's not a persistent online world but you can play co-op with up to three friends set in 1980 sweden you are in this post-apocalyptic world where it's been overrun by spoilers robots and you're going to have to gather you're going to have to forage you're going to have to go and get loot make and craft different weapons and you're basically being a guerrilla tactics fighting against all of these robot monsters it sounds absolutely bonkers expect some really 80s influenced tunes and it just looks a bit mad like the graphics look a little bit hokey i don't know what it is about bandanas maybe they just don't go very well like headbands around your head like that but if the game plays tight it like it should be i mean at the Just Cause series are usually quite a lot of fun. I haven't really got into them ever before. I've only played it, I think, once, way back once. The first one on Xbox 360, way back. So it looks a bit nuts. It looks a bit mental. I love mechs and robots. And if they're evil robots, hell, I'll give this one a go. Right, on to the news. That Crackdown 3 has been delayed again. This has got to be the third time it's been delayed. And it's not going to be coming until next year now. It looks like they want to give it more time in the oven. There's just something wrong with this game. It's had so many problems behind it. It just can't seem to get fixed. It was 2010, the last Crackdown game that came out. That is a huge amount of time to not have a sequel for a game. That is a bit crazy. I do believe Crackdown 2, big part of not the first one. Um, it's gonna be a rough ride for Xbox here on out. With PlayStation having so many more exclusives and lately just the Xbox One ones being okay games but not fantastic games. They've not had a heavy hitter for a long time now. The last Gears of War was a bit meh. We've had Sea of Thieves which was meh and State of Decay 2 which is meh. If you're getting the idea here, I love my Xbox, but it is slipping behind for sure in terms of the first person games. They may do loads of other stuff. I love their Games Pass. I love the fact that their exclusives are being available on day one. But if the exclusives are kind of just rubbish, what is the point in having them for day one? When you look at PlayStation 4's lineup, when you think about all the games they've got coming up, they've got so many original stuff coming. It really is a case of Xbox needing a killer app. It needs a killer game. It needs something to come out like this year. And I don't see that happening. Unless they're going to stealth announce something, which I very much doubt because Xbox and Microsoft just don't do that. I really can't see producing anything decent for the rest of the year. I know that sounds really harsh. I love my Xbox, like I said, but they just don't seem to have the grip on any first-person decent games. Let me know what you think about the lineups. Keep it clean, fanboys. And finishing off with more PlayStation exclusive news, Bloodborne 2. It's been rumoured for a while. Obviously, it was a massive success. Dark Souls is finished now. There's going to be no more Dark Souls games in the series. So, of course, Bloodborne is going to be the next thing they're working on. And we have got some information that the latest rumour is Bloodborne 2 is actually already been shown off in the trailer that got revealed last year for a game called Shadows Die Twice. But lots of people are coming out now and saying that is actually called Bloodborne 2. They are in fact the same game. It's just had a different code word on it. This was revealed on a PlayStation 4 Twitter account today that they tweeted something then deleted it. So are we going to see Bloodborne 2? 
come out as Shadows Die Twice, looking increasingly likely we'll see it probably at the PS4 E3 show. And just finishing off with Twitch schedule, they're going to be showing off a bunch of developer conferences. I'm going to live stream some of them too on YouTube, so if you want to join me while we watch the conferences, we can talk, we can joke, have a little muck around and react to what's happening. Make sure you've got notifications turned on, make sure you've joined my Discord where I've got a special E3 channel and it will tell you everything you need to know about what's going on with E3, all the brand new gossip and I'm really looking forward to finishing off to this. Medieval, the classic has been reborn. It is going to be coming out on the PlayStation 4. We'll see a lot more of this at E3. I can't wait for this. An absolute PlayStation 1 classic that I loved. I am Jay Plays Games. I will see you, Ratbags, for another access show very soon.